Now we're going to add a geo chart underneath our controls. I'm going to click on add a chart and scroll all the way down until I find geo chart and click on that. I'm going to position it below our controls. Click on the layout. I'm going to resize the geo chart so it's about the same width as the rest of my other items in my democratic column. And then now I need to set up my geo chart. So in the chart setup panel, I need to first confirm that the geo dimension is set to state. It is, but the metric is set to the total number of democratic votes and I want to switch it out to the democratic state margin. So we have a more compelling visualization of our map. Notice that the label says dim underscore state underscore margin. We need to update that to a more intuitive label. So under metric, we're going to click on the labels and using title case, we're going to call it democratic space margin. And if I hover over the geo chart there, you can see the label's been updated as well. In the setup panel, we're going to make sure the zoom area is set to United States and then switch over to the style panel. And for the geo chart, we want to set the minimum color value to white to create more contrast within our map and uncheck show legend. All right, so there we've created our geo chart. Now it's automatically tied to the controls that are in our layout. So if we switch the year, for example, to only 2008, we should see that Barack Obama performed well in the Rust Belt, but in 2016, Hillary Clinton did not. All right, so that, that worked. Now we need to label our geo chart. So I'm gonna click on the text button on the toolbar and then click just above our geo chart. And then within the text element, I'm gonna enter in democratic space, margin space of space victory, democratic margin of victory. Highlight the text and over in the text properties, I'm gonna switch it to democratic blue and go ahead and center the text. And then I'm gonna position my element centered over and just above my geo chart. I want it a little bit closer to the geo chart than it is to the drop down controls. So it's better associated with it. That looks good. Now, before we add another dashboard element, we need to first add a new connection because it doesn't have the county data in it. It's just the state final table. And so I'm gonna click on the add data button. And in the add data report, I'm gonna click on Google Sheets. And then I'm gonna drill down in my Google Sheet to the county final table and click add. And then last in the add data to report for the county final table, I'm gonna confirm that it's selected and click add to report. Now over in the data pane, you can see that I've got both my state data, but also my county data, including my Dem and Republican county margin fields. Now I can use those to create my final dashboard element. And so I'm gonna click on add a chart and then table with bars, position that below my geo chart, resize the width so it's the same size as my column. And then I need to configure my table with bars under dimensions. The state field, I want the state field, but I also want the county field. And I'm going to do that rather than clicking on add dimension, I'm going to click and drag the county field over and drop it on add dimension. And then I'm going to relabel my state field using title case, my county field using title case as well. And then under the metric there, I don't want the Democratic total votes. I want the Democratic county margin. So I'm going to replace that metric. And then I need to go ahead and update the label as well. And I'm going to call it vote space margin using title case. If I scroll down, I want to make sure under rows per page that it's only set to 10 because I just want the top 10 records. And then under sort, I want to be on Dem County margin and descending, that's correct. All right. 
I'm going to switch over to the style panel. And I'm going to change the header to Democratic Blue. Scroll down. Change the table labels to Democratic Blue. Keep scrolling down. All the way with the bar set to blue, it already is. And then I want to check or enable show number. All right, that looks good, but it's not showing me the top 10 records. I need to resize it. So I'm going to make it taller so it shows all top 10 records. And then resize the column width to another position. Make it easy to read. Now, does it make sense? Our top 10 Democratic counties. We look, the first one's L.A. in California. That makes sense. That's Chicago, and that's Philadelphia. And there are a lot of Democrats that live in those three cities. So that makes sense. We need to label our table with bars. So I'm going to select the Democratic Margin of Victory geochart title. Right-click it and select Duplicate. And then move it down and position it just over and close to my table with bars chart. And then I'm going to update the name to top 10 counties by Democratic margin of victory. All right, that looks good. It looks like I've completed my Democratic column of dashboard elements. I'm going to go ahead and select all of them and group them together. So select them all. And then on the main menu, go under Arrange and select Group. Now I need to create my Republican column. But first, I'm going to go ahead and view my report, make sure it all works. Click on Filter by Year, uh, only 2016. See if it affects all of my dashboard elements. Looks like it is. Filter by state. Only show me California, for example. Yep. And there you can see my table changed as well. All right, I'm going to reset my view. Click on the edit button. 